Right now, Cherry Creek Reservoir is closed for boating as teams search for a missing man. It's a recovery mission, one that's been going on since Saturday. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan joins us live from Cherry Creek Reservoir. Noel, they have been at this for about five hours so far today. Erica, in some ways, rescue crews say this is like finding a needle in the haystack, but they are determined. One of the boats that is involved in the rescue just came in right now, and they're taking a lunch break before getting back out onto the water. A spokesperson for Colorado Parks and Wildlife told me that the goal of the mission today is to recover this man's body and to bring his family a little piece of closure. CPW says the man is 29 years old. He was tubing Saturday evening without a life jacket. He fell off the tube and went missing in the water. And first responders immediately began searching using sonar. But after 90 minutes, the rescue effort shifted to a recovery mission. Crews from CPW and South Metro Fire were out here most of the day Sunday, and they started work again this morning. They're using boats, underwater remote operated vehicles, and a drone to search the surface and the shoreline. Family and friends of the man are out here too. They're watching the search effort and helping in any way they can. Been uh, really helpful to us. We, we've had some people that were out on, on the boat or with our Marine Evans recovery team and park rangers retracing the route that they thought they were going to try to help pinpoint maybe that point of last scene. So they've done that. They did that the day of and they did it again on Sunday. So they've been really helpful. CPW says that this drowning comes almost a year after a kayaker drowned out here at Cherry Creek Reservoir. That kayaker was also not wearing a life jacket. This reservoir, Erica, it's going to be closed for the day to uh, boat ramps that want to come out here. So just keep that in mind if you're heading out to Cherry Creek Reservoir. All right, Noel, thank you so much for that update.